Alright, hey guys, Jonathan here. Today we're going to go over the sexting of the molt. This is how you tell the sex of your tarantula. This is more accurate than just looking at your tarantula. I do uh, have a video of how to sex your tarantula visually, but that only goes over a few of the key features that uh, you can look for when trying to sex your tarantula visually. This, however, is the method used by most tarantula hobbyists, if not all of them that are educated in how to sex their molts. So, you take a molt, you take it out. The part that is the most important is the abdominal area. The round, or often called the butt of the tarantula. Take and open up. Very gently, you spread open, and you will see two pairs of white things. These white things are the book lungs. Between the first pair of book lungs, if you have a female, you will see the epignol plate where the epigastric furrow is. This leaf like extension tells you you have a female. And as you can notice, I can put the tweezers behind it and kind of flick it up. That right there is where the male will insert his pedipalps and insert the sperm and hopefully fertilize the female's eggs. So this is a very very accurate way of telling if you have a female. Now I already knew that Shanty was a female but I was not expecting her to molt but I'm glad she did because I've been wanting to do a molting video uh, to show you guys how to sex your teeth for those that are new to the hobby. So there you go. Again the female between the first pair of book lungs, the book lungs are the white things, there's one pair, two pair, between the first pair you will find either a leaf-like extension or you won't. If you don't have one, it's a male. If you have one, it's a female. Now on some certain species this can be a little bit harder to identify, but for your starter species which um, in the hobby right now that would be your avic avix your pink toes your chilean roses your chilean rose hairs your brachythelmy smithies which is this one right here your mexican red knee as you can note the red knees which make this tarantula very attractive or your honduran curly hair your brachythelmy opelopsin those are probably the four uh, most common starter species in the hobby right now. So another one that people uh, sometimes get that I would not recommend as their first tea is the Orsamba Orange Starburst Baboon or the OBT uh, referred to as Orange Bitey Thing, the Pteranoctilus Moranus. That is a very cheap and very common tarantula in the hobby and most people uh, want a defensive tarantula as their first one but I do not recommend that. The B. smithy I would recommend uh, because they they do readily flick hairs so you will learn about the urticating hairs and you will learn to respect them but rarely do they bite. Chilean roses have a bit of a defensive attitude and can be moody um, so I caution you on that Honduran curly hair is a pretty docile, not as moody tea as the Chilean rose, so I recommend that highly for your first one. And for your first arboreal species, I highly recommend the Avic Avic or the Avic Metallica, <clears throat> as they are very docile, and you will learn much from those arboreals, and uh, you can move on from there. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful, and uh, thanks for watching.